up. Watch Doug. Doug bounded over some rocks, scrambled up a hill, and crossed a little stream. The dog was looking for a spot to camp for the night. Following Doug were his friends, Carl Fredrickson and a junior wilderness explorer named Russell. Doug had met them in South America when Carl and Russell were on an adventure. Doug wanted to find the best camping spot ever, just for them. Around his neck, Doug wore a high-tech collar that helped him speak to humans. Find the spot! Find the spot! He chanted. Suddenly, Doug saw a perfect place. Point! He shouted. He froze and pointed toward a clearing up ahead. It had trees on three sides and a beautiful view across a valley. Russell and Carl caught up to Doug. I like it, Russell said. Carl put down a picnic basket that held their dinner and breakfast for the next day and a jug of lemonade. Let's set those tents up, he said. Carl and Russell put up the tents and unrolled their sleeping bags. They cooked dinner over the campfire, and afterward they roasted marshmallows. Before long it was late, and time to go to bed. Russell yawned and walked to his tent. Hey, look at this, he suddenly shouted. On the ground past the campfire was a trail of paw prints. Doug sniffed the tracks. What animal made these? A bear, Russell shouted. No, Carl frowned. They're too small. I can check my wilderness explorer handbook, said Russell. No, declared Carl. It's bedtime. I will keep watch all night, Doug offered. Do not worry. I will not fall asleep. Russell gave Doug a big hug. Good night, he said. Then he and Carl went into their tents and zipped up the flaps. Doug was proud to have such an important job. He was going to be a super watchdog. He sat outside the tents as still as a statue. But wait, what was that by the oak tree? A squirrel? Oh boy! Doug charged and tripped over a rope on Russell's tent, pulling it down. Doug froze and waited for Russell to wake up and come out. Then he heard a snore. Russell was still asleep. That was close. Doug thought. Doug sat up straight and looked at the moon. Then, suddenly, a bat swooped down over the clearing and Doug jumped in surprise. Splash! He accidentally knocked over the jug of lemonade and spilled it all over the ground. Doug slunk over to sit by Carl's tent, where it wasn't as wet. And that's when he heard the sound. Scratch, scratch, scratch. What was that? Doug snuck across the clearing. He spotted fresh paw prints in the dirt. Then he saw a shadow near the picnic basket. Woof, 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 he barked. The intruder turned toward him. It had a black mask and striped tail. It was a raccoon, and it was stealing food from the picnic basket. Move away from the basket, Doug said. That is our breakfast, not yours. The raccoon grabbed a string of sausages in its teeth. Doug took the other end and tugged. The raccoon tugged back and hissed. Doug growled and the raccoon let go. Doug had won. Hooray! The raccoon scurried away, defeated, and Doug carried the sausages back to the picnic basket. They were a little dirty, but that was okay. They were safe, and that was the most important thing. Doug was proud of himself. He had spotted the intruder in the dark and scared it away. He had even saved breakfast. He felt like a top watchdog. Soon, the sky began to lighten. Doug's eyes felt so heavy, but he could not go to sleep. He had to stay up to make sure Carl and Russell were safe. Nothing was going to bother them as long as... Yawn. A few minutes later, Carl came out of his tent and looked around. He saw Russell's collapsed tent and the spilled lemonade and the dirty sausages, too. Then he saw Doug curled up on the ground, fast asleep. Carl sat next to Doug. Doug opened one eye. I found the creature that made the paw prints, he said. Yes, I heard, Carl replied. He patted Doug's head as they watched the sunrise. Good dog, Doug. Good dog.